On September 22nd of 2017, I created this channel as a passion project with my cousin, Finn. And I am now here. How did I get here? I barely even know at this point. Um, <laughs> and it's come to my attention that my channel is not doing well as of recently. Uh... <laughs> And there have been times where it has definitely been doing worse than it is doing now. But I am personally, unlike the other times, I have been happy with my content. But as of recently, I am not happy with my content. And I wanted to address it publicly and say a little bit of a goodbye to that content. And this is not a total goodbye from YouTube, but I'm going to be changing how this channel is ran, and I'm going to be giving you guys a little backstory on why this is happening. I don't really belong in this community. I don't know how I got here exactly, or what was really the tipping point. Maybe it was the Icy Ghoul videos. <laughs> Maybe it was the Cradle reaction, which everyone was like, wow, this guy has a really quiet voice. Uh, I, if people stayed for that, I'm sorry, my voice is not that quiet anymore, but I have changed a lot over these years and, you know, I honestly never really came to YouTube expecting to do anything like big at all. This was never my dream and this was never really something I personally wanted to do that much. I never really grew a passion on it, like for YouTube till... I did a little bit of Looming Legacy content, and uh, those videos didn't do too well, but I felt really creative doing something that other people weren't doing. I tried something that was called the Rally Lock. It was similar to an Egg Lock, and it was really cool to me, because it was something that I never saw a YouTuber do, and I was like, okay, let's, let's you know, hit the ground running. Uh, I put it, not much effort into those videos, but... I did work on it over time and work on putting more effort into them, but they never really got big. And I think that's when I realized that if you put creativity into your content, it doesn't mean that you're always guaranteed to hit it big or make it big. That's never been the goal of the channel. I have mainly done this just to make content for you to enjoy. I don't make money off of this. I am not monetized on YouTube. Uh, I was kind of screwed over by YouTube after I lost uh, 3,700 watch hours uh, before memberships were added, so I never got to do memberships, and yeah, it was just, if it's been really demotivating because of that. Uh, <laughs> I worked really hard to get those watch hours and kind of seeing them slip away over the past year has been past two years really um it's been really demotivating because i can't really do anything about that i i can't make a video well i've tried that has really hit a big and i'm working on it i'm working on putting more editing and effort into my videos but it's not always going to work uh and the content i've been doing recently is definitely not something i've enjoyed uh, i don't like making guides i don't like just making commentary videos because for me I just I personally haven't put much effort into them and they just they do better than my regular content they do better than what I usually do but I don't enjoy it so after this I'm probably not going to be doing any more of that content or maybe I'll do something like it but longer length and much more you know much more like detailed edited like I want it to be something cool so I just want to change. I grew this channel. This channel, <laughs> this channel's a lie. Let's be honest. Uh, I gained most of my subscribers from YouTube Shorts. I got 400 something thousand views on a YouTube Short and that, that blew me up. And where did that take me after that? Nowhere. I got 2,600 subscribers and in the past... Two, three years since that short came out, I've gained about 400. Um, and that's actually kind of a lie as well. 
I've gained much more than 400, but I lose a at least a subscriber every day. Um, usually I lose more. Uh, some days I've had as low as high as 10. I've lost 10 subscribers, and you know, you know, it might not seem like a lot, but it adds up after every single day. You're losing five, 10 subscribers. And I mean, I'm not a huge content creator or anything. I am definitely not as big as some other ones. And also I just realized I don't have my mic. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, I, I've never really felt like I've belonged in the Roblox Pokemon community because I've, I've never really truly been a part of it, like, until recently. Um, made a game show, you know, I was really hyped about that, that was creative. Didn't get a lot of views, but I met a lot of cool people from it, and a lot of really nice people. And I've met a very big and cool community. But does that, does that mean I belong? No. I have always kind of felt like a bit of an outsider here. Uh, in the Roblox creature capture community. Um, and that is not because of uh, anyone in particular or anything. That's that's me. Uh, because I, I didn't grow because of this content. Uh, none of my content has done, like, insanely well. That At least content that I'm really proud of. Uh, except the Icicle videos and the Nuzlocke videos and... The art videos, you know, there were there were definitely some that I loved a lot, but I just, when I work on them nowadays, I just worry, because, like, I spend a lot of time on these videos. I was working on a Dude World Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke video, uh, the first one ever, and I was doing a lot of high editing, but then I just got really demotivated, because I'm like, what if it doesn't do well? I I can't do a series off of a video that doesn't do well. And I've had to do this before. Uh, the Wanderlock for Lumion Legacy, I quit because the first episode didn't do well after a month. Uh, it's grown a lot more now, but uh, I just felt like I couldn't do a series off of it because it just did not perform what I want, how I wanted it to. Um, and I just I felt kind of stuck. Like, what am I supposed to do then? <laughs> am I supposed to continue the series and get, like, two views? But then again, my goal is to make people happy, but I want to make more people happy. So then I'm really stuck in a bind. Like, what do I do? Do I just throw the series away? Do I make another episode? Uh, well, you know, I did try it with the roulette lock. Uh, I, I left because the episode before hadn't done as well as the other ones. Uh, and then I came back, and the episode also still didn't do as well. But then again, I did leave for a while, so it makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... I just feel like the community that I'm in right now, I just can't really do stuff that is nearly as creative. So what am I going to do? I'm still going to make content in this cre community, and I'm going to hopefully try and do stuff that's more creative. But I am not uh, going to be here forever. I, I'm i planning on moving away. Not totally, hopefully. But I plan to do different content that is not Roblox related and not maybe not Pokemon related. Though I do enjoy it a lot. It is my favorite game franchise of all time. And that was, if any dream was if I had any dream on YouTube, like from ever, that was the only one I really had. I wanted to be a Pokemon creator that could do creative things. Like MNJTV, Pokemon Pokemon 7. Like all of those creators who do really amazing creative activities and opportunities and like they give people opportunities to do stuff. You know, I just I've always looked up to them and admired them because they do a lot and they are Really creative and great people from what I've seen uh, and yeah I've just I've always wanted to build this channel to be something like that but I've just felt a little stifled and yeah where will I go from here sorry I've been yapping for a little bit I don't know will I stay on YouTube I don't know I'm gonna be going to college in like a year so 
Will that survive college? Will this channel survive college? I don't know. A lot of what ifs and a lot of if ands or buts, but the one thing I can assure you is that as long as I'm here making content on YouTube from now on, I hope it is creative, it is edited to what my likings are, and it's just something that I am proud of. With that being said, I do plan to make a movie to kind of honor what I've done here, uh, if anything I've done here. Um, I'm going to work on that really hard, and I'm hoping that that video can do well. Will this video do well? <laughs> Probably not, let's be honest. Like, it's just a guy ranting in, in the basement. Uh, a guy who grew up with this this table. This is what I did it on. This is the this is the size of a laptop. Like, like, like a laptop is all that can fit on here. <laughs> Using my mic, I usually had to hold it when I used to do content. I just got a new table for here, and I've fixed up my green screen, so I'm hoping to use those in future content. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I just do, I really do care about the channel because I've, I've just put a lot of effort into it. So, let's hope it goes somewhere from here. But thank you all so much for watching, and please wish me luck on. Whatever happens next. Adios.